Hello everybody and welcome to Storming Coasters. As you can probably tell by the title, I will be talking about my top 15 bucket list roller coasters. Now while I haven't been to Cedar Point, I'm planning to go this year, so that's why I will be leaving all Cedar Point roller coasters off this list. And I know that Top Thrill Dragster is not opening in 2022, so that's why I would have included it if it were in my top 15. It's just a few spots behind 15. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Jumping right in, Iron Rattler is my number 15 bucket list roller coaster. It looks amazing, the drop and the dive off the cliff especially. Number 14 is Fury 325 located at Carowinds. The ride looks amazing and has been voted the best roller coaster in the world since 2015. I hear that you can get some great airtime and the drop feels super long. I can't wait to get out and ride this roller coaster. 13 brings us Outlaw Run at Silver Dollar City. I hear it is an amazing RMC topper track wooden roller coaster with some incredible airtime and a couple of inversions, but that drop also looks very cool. FLY at Fantasia Land holds the number 12. It looks amazing with the launch and then the flying aspect is added, and I believe it also technically spins a little bit, so that looks super cool. Located not too far away from FLY, Terran at Fantasialand is my number 11 bucket list roller coaster. The theming looks amazing, and it looks to have some cool snappy transitions and some good airtime. And if I get lucky enough to ride it at night, the light package would probably look amazing. Also in Europe, we have Wildfire at Colmartin Zoo at number 10. The drop looks amazing, the view of the coaster looks amazing, the whole ride just looks amazing, and I hear other people always saying great things about this ride. I don't know what else to say. The fourth European roller coaster in a row is Untamed at Wallaby Holland, which will be holding the ninth. It looks to give some amazing injector airtime and some whippy inversions, and it looks to be such a long ride too. Still staying out of the US, number 8 is Hakuge at Nagashima Spa Land. This thing just looks giant. The drop, the double up, the double down, the stall, and all of the inversions and airtime in between. Zadra is number 7, and you might have noticed a trend by now. I like the more aggressive rides, and of course, you guessed it. It's on here mainly because it looks to deliver some great injector airtime, and the 0G stall looks to have some good hang time. Headed back to the States, Pantheon is my number 6. The launches look pretty intense, and look to deliver some snappy transitions, and some good ejector, and that spike looks to give you a sustained feeling of weightlessness. Velocicoaster looks to have some good airtime and some cool forces and great launches, and that's why it is my number 5 top bucket list roller coaster. The launch looks so good, and the theming looks so cool. Flying over the top hat seems like such an incredible view, and some great airtime at the same time. And I'd love to get a night ride on this monster. Screaming into number 4, we have El Toro. I hear that it gives some great ejector during the first half, and the photos make it look absolutely ginormous. That drop looks insane, and the Rolling Thunder Hill just looks to give some sustained ejector airtime. It looks amazing. Just barely stealing the bronze from El Toro is Airy Force 1 at Fun Spot Atlanta. It looks to give some crazy ejector airtime, and the stall looks to give some cool hang time. The ride looks so whippy, but it's mostly the ejector and the forces of the drop that I want to experience on this ride the most. I get that the ride hasn't even opened yet, but the animation makes it look so cool. Lightning Rod at Dollywood will receive the silver medal. The launch lift hill looks cool, though I hear it's running kind of slow, but that drop looks so cool, and the airtime looks to try to eject you. I don't know what else to say about what I want to experience on this ride. Representing the gold will be Iron Gwazi at Busch Gardens Tampa. 
The ride looks absolutely ginormous. The drop looks to deliver some incredible forces. And the airtime looks like it will be some insane ejector. It also looks to give some good laterals. And that stall looks like it will give a second or two of good hang time. I just don't know what to say anymore. It just looks amazing. Anyways, that's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to Storming Coasters and like this video. And hey, comment your top bucket list roller coaster and have an awesome day.